Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Subsistence Land. So, uh, yeah, here we are at the bridge. So, I think we've we've finished off what we want to do at the bridge, and the the objective for today is to uh, grab as much of the stuff from here that we can, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna go up to the mountain, and then we're gonna try to fly back home. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot. I think that the trip here by gliding makes more sense, just because the mountain's like close to the other base. And you can go way up there and then fly down and it seems to work. I don't think we're going to be able to get as close to the other end as we were able coming this way. So what I mean is, uh, I think, well, let me, let me point. So I, I want to basically fly from there because if I go, as I say, I think I said before, if I go there, I might as well just run down the mountain because the base is literally like right there. So I'm thinking we'll go up there and then we'll, we'll glide around and then down most likely we won't make it all the way, but and then we'll hoof it for the rest. I think that's a plan. I have a, a well, a little bonus. Well, it's not a bonus. Well, here, let's 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 take care of a couple things. First of all, I want to take care of a, of the uh, the plants a little bit before we go. We don't have a lot of fertilizer. Do we have any potassium? We do. Okay. How about if we just do this, and then we just give each plant bed a little bit of potassium for fertilizer. And, yeah, I, if I remember correctly, some of the plants were almost done, but not quite. Yeah, the potatoes. Oh, oh, they're done. They're done. Okay, okay, first of all, uh, let's do the, well, actually, no. Two water and one little stack of you, and then we could give one little stack of split half. Of you? Oh, no, it, it, it combined them. Oh, that, okay, fooey. <laughs> Never mind. We'll give one of you one of you. Oh, and it did the same with that one. Uh, you know what I think it is? Is I think that I have more fertilizer than I need. Oh, you know, potassium really is very efficient. Um, there we go. All right. That's that taken care of. And then let's grab the potatoes. I think I want to replant potatoes. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at what's here. Uh, we don't have any potato seeds, so I'm just going to do the old uh, extracting eight thing, and we'll just replant potatoes. I, I'm not in a huge hurry, but I do want to get up there before it gets too late in the day. So let's just get this going. There we go. We've got some potatoes. We've got some ash. You know, I think I'll just put the uh, I'll put the fertilizer in here for the future. Okay. Now get a bit of water. And we'll refill it, and then. What we need to do is figure out what we're going to take back to the other other base. Uh, I suspect that no matter what I pick, it's it's not, not exactly going to be a, a perfect choice. Hey, oh, I almost forgot about fertilizer. There we go. But we got our little chicken friend here. Well, actually, I didn't almost forget about the chicken. I almost forgot about the fertilizer. The, well, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. It'll make sense in a minute. Uh, some of the things that I've already said. All right, let's put that there. Ah, uh, what the hey, we'll just put that there for lack of another place to put it. And we'll put you in there. Okay, now. We could eat one more fish. Uh, I ha I already ate one of the fish, so that's why my uh, my stuff is like... Uh, that's why I'm, I'm a little more full, I think, than when I left off. I'm going to have you. That should basically boost me up to max. Okay, now what do we want to take back? Nothing in there, of course. We definitely need to take the glider, right? Uh, I might, you know, just for fun, I'm going to take the claymore. I don't think we need a lot of gears. Uh, do we want to? Uh, man, this is like we've got so many cotton seeds, medicinal plant seeds. Eh, eh, eh. Um, ammo is not a problem. Uh, the uh, padded cloth is not a problem. None of this is a problem. I wouldn't mind taking iron. Because I use a lot of and zinc, because that's something that I've been kind of low on, and maybe the uh, the the sandstone as well. Nails we don't really need to worry about because we've got so many nails in both bases that it's just it's just not a problem. Uh, scrap is this is fine. We're doing really good with scrap, but I think what we'll do is we will take all of these boards, and I'm going to take most of the cordage. We're going to leave a little bit here just so that we have something in case we need to, to make something or whatever, right? So we're going to keep the hammer here for repairs. How much space? We've got a fair amount. Left. 
Let's see. Um, glass panels. I'm going to take the glass panels. Uh, I'm going to take the, uh, the, the premium uh, feathers because, well, there's no reason to have them here. We've got so much sinew at the other base. I'm not going to worry about that. Adhesive, I think we're doing fine at the other base. I might take these uh, advanced weapons parts just because. And I think, you know what? Here, I'm going to take half the glass. And leave a little bit here in case I need to do repairs. The rest of this is kind of eh, neither here nor there. I mean, what is this? Is strength boost or adrenaline? Yeah, I don't really use adrenaline. Okay, anything in here? Not really. I mean, yeah, battery, a spare bow, and well, I guess the six premium arrows I might take with me. Uh, but this is like a little bit of spare stuff, just in case I die or I need to pick up some stuff here. Yeah, this isn't going to be a big deal. And then I think the same here. The only thing I might do is grab like a bunch of biofuel. And what else do we want to grab? I don't know if there's much else. Actually, I think we've... Wow. Okay. I think we've rather stripped this place somewhat bare. The only other thing I could start looking at is a few of the vegetables. Uh, onions. We are short on onions in the other base, so I am going to take... Uh, 67 back. <laughs> 67 is a reasonable number. I'm going to leave potatoes here because uh, I want to be able to make alcohol eventually, and this is the potato base. Um, you know, I really could take a, a bunch of uh, 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 kelp because I haven't been as diligent as I want to be. And the rest of this, uh, 29 tomatoes, we could take a bunch of tomatoes back. You know, 20 or so. And I think we're good. And then the other thing is, I don't have a, a... We only have one well at the other base, so... Yeah, I don't... Here, actually, there we go. We'll take a full stack of water. Because uh, this this takes a while to drill. And I might as well just take it with me. I think this is probably good. What else? Is there anything else we should probably think about taking? I think that's it. Yeah. I mean, we could take the gears. If Now that we've got a bit of space, I don't think there's anything... Alcohol, we'll leave that for later, another time. Um, spare tanks, that they're always kind of handy. I think we've pretty well what, got what we want. And we're just going to let this burn, and yeah, I think that's it. Of course, the fridge is empty. There's nothing in there. Hmm. I can't, I, you know, I keep thinking I'm forgetting something. But uh, I know what it is that, here, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put you there. Just so I don't forget about it. But here's what we're going to do. This is going to be Operation Transfer Chicken. <laughs> Come with me! Let's go! <laughs> That's what I meant when I said I haven't forgotten about the chicken. <laughs> I just... And besides, and we have a few little empty spaces here so that if we want to pick up loot on the way, fiber, scrap, that kind of thing, then we're good. But I'm not going to do a lot of looting because I... Oh, man. He says as he stops to pick up Oh my god, I'm now I'm full. <laughs> okay. No more looting. That's it. We're done. Uh-oh. Oh oh the deer's running from me. That's why. <laughs> That's funny. Do 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 you know oh Oh that that wolf Oh the wolf didn't even think about going after the deer. I do have fiber. Now I you know what? I'm dilly dallying and I shouldn't because I have precious cargo. I've got a nice, fresh chicken. You know what? I'm not even going to pick you, medicinal plant. That's how serious I am about this, this uh, saving this chicken's life after I put it in danger by, <laughs> by capturing it. But we will pick up the scrap because the scrap is useful. Oh, it's kind of killing me a little bit not to get uh, ammo crates. Is he still following me? No, okay. Could have sworn I heard footpath. Like the... Ooh. Uh-oh, what is that? Electrical components. Yeah, I don't really need electrical components. I think we're good. Although, I think what we'll do is we'll just get rid of the uh, medicinal plant because... Nope, don't pick up medicinal plants. Oh my goodness, and there's another thing. Okay, let's just go. I hear you, wolf. I hear you. I know you're serious, but... Uh, so am I. <laughs> this is serious business. I have an important chicken that I need to get back to the base. Precious cargo, so they say. Uh, now, where is the cougar? Okay, why is the cougar not eating the deer? 
Did you see that? The cougar was right there. The deer is right there. Why is the deer not being chased by the cougar? Do you think there's some sort of deer cougar alliance? Have they got, are they, do they have a pact of some sort? That's just a bit weird. Oh yeah, yeah. So here's what we can do. We can go up there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, do we have a heat? Yes, we do. In case I get cold. Oh man. Okay. Here, let's see if we can grab anything out of here. No, we can't. Well, we can grab that, that, and that. And we can grab that, but not the, the, the seed. I mean, really, we could convert this into that, and then we could grab that, and let's go. Even though that's... Well, I guess we're not going to find too much fiber between here and the top of the mountain, so that's not a big deal. All right, let's go. Up, 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 up. <laughs> can I get up here? Oh, I can. Oh, this is pretty cool. So this is a pretty quick, direct route. Yep, I think this is good. I think we're going to do it from here. We could go over there. Should we just go over there? Or should we try just gliding from here? Our base is basically, oh, we're taking heat damage. Or cold damage. Hmm. I mean, we, it would be better if we launched off of that rock right there. Maybe we should just do that. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Maybe, maybe we should. We'll, we'll do it over here. Am I going to have to use a heat pack in the summer or in the spring? <laughs> I think I might. Or we could go up off of, you know what? Let's just go up to the highest peak. Why not? And, or the relatively almost highest peak. Let's use this because this is getting a bit crazy. There's some, there's some other high peaks right there, but I, I want to use these ones here. I know I said one thing, and now I'm doing another, but... <laughs> Can we get up here? Oh, yeah, look at this! Oh, 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 top of the world! There's the base right there. So we're, we, we're, we're from the bridge base over there to over there. Is this efficient? I don't know, but I wanted to give it a shot now. I should be able to just jump and then, okay, give a little bit of lift and let's go. And if we take a look, actually we could even go a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. And then we could start heading. You know what we could do? We could take advantage. <gasps> we could do a double jump if we have to. We could take advantage of the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the cliff face there. But even then, I don't think we need to. Oh, this is so cool. Ha <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> do, 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 do. How's the chicken? Chicken's doing good! <laughs> well, hopefully. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember how the uh, the health bar of the... It doesn't seem to be going down, does it? Am I... Is it... Is that just me? Or is that... Did he increase the timer on the chicken? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is so cool. We're going right over this, uh, the thing I was thinking I might have to land on. <laughs> the flight home. <laughs> oh, this is, this is really neat. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wow. Now, you know what would be really awesome? Is if we could land on our roof. Literally land on our roof. No, 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 no. Okay, that's how you dump uh, altitude. You, I think you get a little faster. But... Oh! I made it! Not quite the way I wanted to do it, but I did. I got here. <laughs> Okay, okay, put this, uh, put that away. No, put, okay, there we go. Guys, 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 guys. I'd like you to meet some... <laughs> it's very sad. <laughs> I almost made it! So, the answer to the question is, uh, it just basically goes from healthy to dead. 
<laughs> oh, well. I mean, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? So uh, let's put away some stuff. Let's uh, put you away. I just need to, before I butcher the... I mean, before I process the quail... <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. It's quail. Before I process the quail... Oh, wow. How come I thought we had problems with onions? Apparently... All right, all right, I'm gonna, never mind then. I guess we don't have problems with onions. That's a little bit, uh, yeah, okay, I see. Is that how, that's how it goes, all right. Let's grab you, let's get the fire going. Um, fuel, ignite, but regardless, that was a fun flight. I actually, I really do enjoy those little, those little flights. It's, they're they're, they're kind of cool. <laughs> so I'm really happy that we did that. Uh, now, as I say, most likely next time I'll just run home. Uh, unless I have to get back quick, because I do think that that was a very fast way to get home. I think that was very efficient. So, you know, if that's your option. Look at that. We have 95 boards again. And 60, and look at that, 149 raw fiber and 60 cordage. Excellent. Excellent. We've got you and, let's see, plates. Um, what else goes in here? Gears? Yes, gears. And then down here, uh, you, you, we don't have any of these yet, so, uh, and now we have 81 of the premium feathers, so that's kind of cool. One of the main reasons for growing and then butchering quail. <laughs> uh, growing and butchering quail is to get the premium feathers. It's also to get the whole quail body. <laughs> I don't know if they're buying it. I, I don't know if they're buying it, actually, to be honest with you. <laughs> so maybe I should just, let's just, let's just quit while we're ahead. <laughs> uh, no, that doesn't go in there, but I do want to put that in there. All right. Now you're going to go outside. You actually go into the weapons bin. Uh, do I have, no, that's nice. So we didn't have any premium arrows before. So that's really nice to have. And then uh, we can put you and you in there. And also, you know what? We're going to put that outside. And we're going to put our glider away uh, right in here for future use. Now, that trip two ways used, I'd say, about a third of its health. So, you know, I could do maybe one more trip. Now, somebody asked how much it would, what it costs to repair it. And it costs two eagle feathers, four cloth, and four crystal. So, yeah, it's not cheap. The crystal is, is fairly expensive. By the way, that brings up an interesting point. Oh, right. I wanna, what I want to do is process the, the quail. <laughs> oh, we get... Look at that. We get some reared quail meat. <laughs> this is really getting awkward. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. I thought it, I'd give it a try. It was, you know, uh, it was worth an effort, but... Oh, no, not there. I want to go this way. It was worth an effort, but that's okay. I'm... Uh, it was, if uh, we didn't succeed, I'm I'm am all right with that. Now, where do we want to stick the? Uh, actually, I think we want to do it out here because this seems to be the main place where uh, we get revenge attacks, and I think they like to use these these shrubs and stuff. So, or this, you know what? I like to, they they uh, probably use this tree. Um, I find the hunters use trees a lot for cover. So we're going to put this right here, like that. And that'll cover basically, if they, if they stand here and try to use it as cover to shoot me, then, you know, that'll, that'll get them. The big problem, as I say with claymores, I've said this a few times now, I don't mind them, but I don't know. I find them kind of anticlimactic because half the time you don't see them when they go off. And it's like the whole point why I would, would love to have a claymore is so that I can see, see them explode and uh, do their thing. But, you know, you just never see it. So, now, oh, hey, you guys are already. Well, we'll deal with you tonight. So, yeah. Okay. I would like to do some, uh, I want to I see if we can do a little bit of looting before the end of the day. So, because we didn't get a lot of opportunities to loot today and I did have to run past some, uh, some chests and everything, and I was a bit kind of upset about that. And on top of that, we do have a lockpick. Hey, Bear. How's it going? So I, I, I think it would be kind of nice if we could find ourselves a lock crate. Uh, I'm going to check out this part of the map over here 
Uh, sometimes there's lock crates on uh, over in this general direction towards where Charlie has their new base. Uh, we do get rogues over here, though. What did I see over there? It wasn't a crate. It was a patch of dirt and a rabbit. <laughs> well, okay. And not a lot of... Where are all the crates? Do you notice there's not... Where is... There's, like, no, um, fiber... There's no crates? <gasps> oh, I think I know what it is. I wonder if by flying here, uh, the game the game has a it, it it spawns things in around you or in as you approach an area, and I wonder if it didn't do it because I was flying. And so now there's nothing spawned in here. Because you'll also notice like there's animals. Oh hey. There's a lock crate. Okay, danger crate. <gasps> oh, and there's a, a hunter base over there. All right, let's get this. Oh, not bad. We got some plates. We got some shells. We got 44 rounds, SVT rounds, rifle rounds, or rather. Excellent. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to head back, but I think what we'll, we're just going to be useful. We can't... Looting is, is kind of... It's kind of sucking right now, so I'm just going to harvest a few trees we're gonna we're gonna harvest trees on our way back because uh i really do need to be a bit more diligent about that uh, i know we just managed to recover a whole bunch of boards uh by destroying the fobs and all that other business but i still need raw wood um you need raw wood to do repairs on the the actual wooden parts of your base um, you need it for all kind of making sticks. You need it. There's, there's a lot of reasons why having a, a little cache of wood in the base is a good idea. And I just haven't been really very good about, about make, keeping up with that. So, do, 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 do. So tomorrow, what are we going to do? Um, let's think about that because, uh, well, tomorrow and also there is something, somebody brought something up, and it was, funnily enough, um, I guess I didn't talk about it. I kind of did in a, in a very sideways way, but I didn't really. So, we do want to build the, uh, a BCU cracker to take out the base that's out at Ortastic, right? The, the remaining, the one base that spawned in around my, the bridge base that I want to get rid of and have built here. By the way... One of the nice things about that is going to be that it's going to be one of the new base designs um, that Cold Games, he, he in the last release, he added some new base designs. Um, they're not just the, the standard three, three styles that we've been dealing with up till now or seen up till now. Although there was another uh, style. Um, Charlie base used to be uh, uh, bigger than Bravo's base, but it had a big panorama window and everything. But nowhere near as big as the fortress. Uh, so, anyways, the point being that we do want to get some crystal. I'm I, What's holding me back on getting the... Oh, you know what? I think that we're done. Maybe I'll get this tree and then we'll go in. It's dark and there's a bear. And, yeah. uh, so I do want to build the BCU Cracker so that I can take out that base. But that means I need crystal. Well, there's only one way to get crystal. And that's by going underground. And so, in the next uh, little while, uh, I do plan on doing a cave run. Uh, I haven't really explored this southern cave here. The southern cave, which is kind of under here. This this is the entrance to it. Oh, there's rogues right there. Um, but I haven't really explored this cave very much. So, I think that is something that we're going to have to do um, a little bit more of. But I'm just going to use it as an... We're going we're gonna to do a, a crystal run. We're not going to do anything super fancy like going to the lava cave or anything like that. We're going to do a, a standard cave run so that I can get more familiar with this cave. Because I've only seen a piece of it. And I'd like to get... I, I, I know the layout of the other cave. I don't know this one very well. And so I need to get more familiar with it. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, but in the meantime... And we could do that in the next episode. I did put a small base down there. Hmm. 
Should we do that? Let's take a look, by the way, at the uh, food and water for the animals. It's not bad. Here, let's grab their manure as well. Um, and we've got to get tomatoes. Okay, let's let's do our chores and then we'll figure out what the actual plan is over there. Are you guys done? Yeah, you are. Um, then we'll figure out what the plan is over the immediate future. Tomorrow and the next day and the next. Um, yeah, I think that, uh, I think I definitely, oh, wow, we've got a lot of, uh, backed up, uh, tomato seeds. Nice. In fact, we've got more than enough. Cool. Let's just do this. Oh, and I need water, too. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Uh, apparently, there's rogues right across the, the water from my base. <laughs> oh, that is, uh, th that is very interesting. <laughs> oh, they're right there. Neat. Okay, you and you and that. Okay, and then we can do that, and then go like that. All right. Uh, you, 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 and maybe more. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. Nice. Yeah, I do need to go into the cave. I'm just trying to... I'm, I'm, I, I want, what I don't want to do is, is, uh, rush and then get down there and, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, rowdy neighbors are in town. <laughs> We've got 51 now. That Seriously, stop shooting up the place. They're going to hit my base. They're not aiming at me, by the way. They're basically, they're fighting the, uh, they're fighting, uh, like a, an animal or something like that. Uh, let's see. You go in here. Uh, that goes there, that goes there, and there, and... Oh, how's the base power and mass? Oh, it's good. Yeah. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. And then that can go in there. All right, we're in good shape. So, the only thing I need to do is maybe eat something. Get myself sorted out. Uh, let's see, have a tomato or two. Maybe one of you and you. Have a oh, and we could split that. Oh no! Well, we could drink. Oh, drink two. That'll okay. That'll also do something. <laughs> split in half. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we couldn't quite do that. All right, there we go. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what it is that we need to take with us. Oh, I've got a couple of little fish that I. All right. I think I'm sorted. The animals need to be fed. So let's get them out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll grab four of you. Uh, one, two. Let's just do three, one, two. Water's full. We can give one more tomato. So four was actually the right amount. Well, we could have probably gotten away with something else. <laughs> I tell you, <ya. laughs> they're just noisy. Oh my goodness. Although, one thing is, right now they're not really aware of me too much because of, um... Oh yeah, look at that, they're swimming! What is he doing? There he is right there. Was he he was chasing that animal over there, I think. Are you gonna get out of the water? There he goes. <laughs> that is funny. That is really hilarious. Okay, so let's put this away and then. Uh, what I think we'll do is we'll do some preliminary plans for the, uh, the cave base. The problem is I don't have, um, things built up. Like, I don't have, yeah, I don't have tanks. 
I don't have anything. So I think what we'll do is we'll we'll pl we'll use tomorrow to plan for the cave base run. I got I have to think about what it is that I need to take down with me. I need to make some extra pickaxes. I'm going to need to take water and I mean really I can go down with this maybe with some tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes, water, berry juice, and, and uh, protein bars are more than enough for food. Um, we're, we're armed to the teeth, so that's not a problem. I might switch out my um, outfit for something a little more rugged. Uh, as much as I do enjoy my Christmassy outfit, uh, I do think that we'll, we might switch over to the plaid. Just because it does provide more protection. These, the, this does uh, plus 5%, whereas this does... Plus one percent protection. So, and it's pretty dicey down in the caves. Uh, so I think that I, I would prefer the extra protection. And on top of that, um, we do need, as I say, to prep. So, yeah. And that's why I didn't make. Even though this is at a hundred, that's why I didn't make the key. I knew we were going down, and I knew I was going to have to make some tanks. So, how about we start with that? Why don't we grab half of this, and we'll grab some zinc. And we'll start making a few tanks. Now, we don't need as much as if we were doing a big, giant um, run. The, we, you know how I do like the, the big underwater run to gather um, uh, um, sandstone or pearls and stuff like that. Uh, but we do need a few. I like to have, you know, we're going to leave one here for a spare. And we could take three with us. One and kind of a half to get down there. One and a half to kind of get back. It's more than we need. But I'd rather have too many air bottles than than not enough. Um, yeah, there's no... Because whatever air bottles we don't use, we can use later in the future. So it's not a waste. All right, so that's one thing we need to do. What else do we need to do? Well, I think tomorrow... I think these guys have outlived their welcome. They, they kept me up all night long with their... Yeehaw! Bang, bang, bang! Into the... Into the <laughs> it's raining uh, into the sky and, and chasing animals and causing a ruckus. And so I think tomorrow we're going to have to go and do something about them. We've got to clear out, the, clear out the neighbors because they really are causing a bit of a problem. You know, they're swimming, skinny dipping in the, the pond at night. And, you know, I mean, I don't have a problem with skinny dipping or anything like that. But, you know, it, 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 it's my pond. They didn't ask permission. All right. I think this is a good place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, y'all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.